So first off, I highly recommend using a screen protector for your iPad. The screen protector I recommend using is Paperlike, the sponsor of today's video. Paperlike is my all-time favorite screen protector since it feels and sounds like you're writing on paper. and it makes it so much easier to have neat handwriting when you're taking notes on the iPad. Paperlike also gives you more control and resistance while taking notes or sketching, and it also reduces glare and fingerprints on the iPad screen. I've been using the Paperlike screen protector for over three months, and it's still working great, and I haven't noticed any damage to my Apple Pencil tip. So if you're interested in Paperlike, the link will be in my description box, and they ship worldwide for free, and you get two screen protectors per purchase. So I use the app GoodNotes 5 for my handwritten notes, and the first thing I do when setting up for a new class is make a new notebook. So they have a lot of variety when it comes to your notebook cover, and I really like that they have so many options so that you don't have the same notebook for each of your classes. And once I've chosen my notebook cover, I then choose the type of paper that I want to use. And I normally go with the gridded either white paper or black paper. So once I have made a new notebook, I always like to make a cover page. I actually did a sample cover page on paper for astronomy a few videos back because I just really wanted to do a cool galaxy lettering effect. So I decided to do a very similar design, but just on the iPad instead. So in order to make a really cool ombre effect, I'm going into to the app Procreate and making the title Astronomy in there. So this is a really simple way to make an ombre lettering style that you can then put into your notes. So now that I have the title ready, I'm going to decorate the rest of the page. So first I'm getting a PNG picture of ripped brown paper since I wanted to replicate the look of having that ripped paper at the bottom. And for some reason I have this problem where most of the PNG pictures I try to download from Google end up not having a PNG background and they just have the squares in the background. So when I have that problem, I go to the app Magic Eraser and luckily it's a really simple app to use. You essentially just open up a picture and then you use the Magic Eraser to then erase the background from the picture so that it turns out to be PNG. And also PNG is transparent if you guys didn't know, just wanted to clarify, but that way it makes the background disappear so you just have the picture that you want and you don't have the background. I also wanted to add some cartoon planets to the top and I could draw them, but one of the things that I really love about the iPad is that you can just add in diagrams or pictures rather than manually draw and create them since I'm honestly a little bit too lazy to always do it myself. the cover page is finished, I'm going to start with the first outline and lecture and actually start taking notes. So the color theme I'm going with is purple. I don't know why, I just like the color purple a lot and also I just for some reason when I think of the universe I think of purple. But yeah, so keep my primary pen size for the actual notes at 0.55 and I use the ball pen and I usually start by making a nice cute title at the top that doesn't take too much time but at the same time looks really good. And then I just write the subsection headers in a color that matches the title and also highlight any vocab with a highlighter that matches the color theme. Team.
So the next lecture I decided to take notes on was about the Big Bang, and this time I decided to make the title to be a text font rather than manually making it myself. So this is a really great hack for you guys if you don't want to make any of the titles by yourself, and you can get so many different awesome fonts for your iPad notes just by doing the following. So first go to the app Pixart and scroll to the bottom and choose the PNG transparent image. So once you're there, just save it to your photos, don't add anything to it, and after that head over to the app Fonto and open that PNG image that you just saved, and then you can just write your title text and choose whatever font you want. So Fonto has so many different amazing pretty fonts to choose from, and I really like making titles in Fonto for my notes because it makes my notes look really fancy, but at the same time it's super easy to do and doesn't take much time at all. And I also like to use Fonto's fonts for my subsection titles as well. So for this third page, I wanted to show you guys how the black paper looks since I really love that option and I think it just looks really cool, especially for an astronomy class. So for black paper, I just switch my pen from black to white and then I use lighter colored pens and highlighters so that you can actually see them and they show up on the black paper. And you can change the type of paper that you want to use on GoodNotes at any time, even if you're halfway through making your notes, which is a really convenient option. So you can just test out a bunch of different types of paper and figure out which one works for you.